link. So I missed two streams of this. I was supposed to be playing the Eternal Knight tomorrow, but guess what? I have only rescued one guardian in this game so far. Oh shoot, it was... It was that one. Exited host mode? Boy, isn't that surprising. So I'm going to see if I can play this really fast. I'm going to try to rescue two guardians today. Maybe, hopefully. Oh wait, I don't think you guys can hear game audio. What to you? Send us a check? Boy, it's hard to be absolutely sure, Ignitus. But it seems she was using me as some sort of suspended organic power source. Huh? She was using him as a battery. Why didn't you just say so? Not only that, she also left with a glowing yellow orb. And I believe that I somehow powered it. Does this mean anything to you, Ignitus? Perhaps. Perhaps. I think we watched this cutscene last what time. What I do know is that we need to rescue the other guardians before Cinder can anyway. power any more of those orbs. I agree, Ignitus. But first, I'd like to impart some useful knowledge to Spyro vis a -vis his recently acquired electricity-based exhalation device. What? Well, he says he'd like to teach me some things about that electricity device. Oi, why didn't you just say so? Yay, we finally get to learn how to use electricity. Whoops. Oh, jeez, I've been playing Monster Hunter. I thought the L button would center the camera. Dude, I love Voltaire. I like his stripes. <laughs> he has like uh, lightning bolt stripes on him. Electricity, the spark of life. Listen, and I will teach you in sequence. My control is vibrating really hard right now. We're gonna do that really cool strat that I already know how to do. We're gonna teach us how to throw enemies off the cliff. Except I don't think that's how he wanted me to use it. I think I'm taking like the Darth Vader route or something. Oh baby. Oh baby. Clean those vegetables. Clean those fruits. I just in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear the sink. Oh no! What'd you do? You're a quick I cleaned up the dojo, much like you just cleaned up that sink. Over here. I'm holding up the stream, just like I'm holding up that fish. Unfortunately, I don't think anyone's gonna know that joke. Sir? He's fine. Oh, good. This... I feel like I did this recently. Oh, I did. I was playing this game, I showed it to Hydra, and then I restarted it. Now I'm doing the exact same thing I was doing merely weeks ago. Except it's not a problem because I always replay this game all the time non-stop. Gosh darn it! This is the worst one because the electricity bombs just have a mind of their own and like they'll try to be shooting the enemy that's close to you and it'll be like, no, I'm gonna hit this one over here so you can't get it. Oh my. 7.41 in the morning over there. I got up at 7.15 this morning, but it's 10, 10 a.m. now. I figured if I'm awake doing nothing, I might as well catch up, considering 
I was supposed to be playing The Eternal Night last week and tomorrow, and I haven't even... I've only played this one once so far. Live, that is. Will be pleased. Pyro, come here. Oh good, I'm almost done. The Electricity Fury is my favorite. It's, the sound effect is so good for it. I don't like the really good one until I fully upgrade my both of my electric attack and bomb. And I'm not gonna do that, because I gotta save all my my goodies for the Earth Breath when I unlock it. Sir, please. There's no way to behave inside the dojo. Ow! this bar because I'm not using fire and I can't just bomb them. Alright, here we go. That's the coolest one. That's the best one. Your training is complete. Well, the Earth Fury in the second game is also super nice. <clears throat> I want to know how they made the ripple effect for the Earth Power in the second game. It's super pretty. Because the whole level just ripples around you. Spyro, the villain you asked Guardian was taken to Tall Plains. You and Sparks. I've only seen once. the Dawn of the Dragon. This is the first game. Um, Legend of Sparrow is a trilogy, and Dawn of the Dragon is the third one. This is the game to Yeah, maybe next month, next summer, perhaps next year. Just go now. Yes, sir. We gotta go rescue Cyril. <laughs> then Voltaire and Cyril can finally spoon. Spade Sparks is my favorite one. Focused on their relationship to crops, their surroundings, their gods. Terrifying expressions! I love the expressions in this game. I love everything about this game. Is keeping Trying to power another crystal. You must find him before she succeeds. Right. Never easy. Nothing worthwhile ever is. I guess um, the Guardian's expressions can be kind of gross in this game because they didn't like. I don't know. I guess they when they made the models, they mirrored them, including the eyes, so they look kind of cockeyed. As far as I know, I, f I think they look better in the second game. Oh, buddy, I don't want that cutscene to happen. Let's see if it's. <laughs> Of the cutscene. He's supposed to be like, oh no, and then run away. But he wasn't there. Come back. Alright, I'm gonna stop goofing around. I'm trying to get through this really fast. Ah! I'm gonna get through this really fast and then I get hit immediately. I do want to kill all the enemies though because I need the uh, I need to fully upgrade Earth when I unlock it. <gasps> no! Got ambushed. Oh, I broke it. I broke the slow mo.
Well, if you're gonna compare this game to Skyrim, of course it's not beautiful. But like, this game, this game came out in 2006 and it's on the GameCube. It literally turned 10 years old on the 10th of this month. Uh, Okami. Arctic Okami. Chillin' in the chat. Comparing Spyro to Skyrim. I've played Skyrim, but like, I've only played, I think, an hour of it or something. I had a... I had like one mod on there that made it so that I could put, um... Naruto features on the character customization. And also, I could open character customization at any time, so I could change how my character looked. And it took all the time to set all that up, and then I, I I got the game, and I just did not know what to do. I, I didn't have any direction, and I didn't know what any of these characters were talking about, because they would say names of places and, and creatures, and I'd just be like, dude, I don't understand what you're saying. And I just never knew. What, I, I, I couldn't progress. Ah! That's I don't know which direction to go to learn about certain things. I don't know who's good and who's bad. I don't know who to help. Also, I feel really bad because like at the beginning of the game, there was like this guy who was trying to help you, and I got separated from him, and I think he died or something. I don't remember, but I feel I feel bad because I was, I kind of wanted to go with him, but. I lo like he was running and I was like I couldn't keep up with him because I'm a loser. He should have known better than to put his trust in me, I guess. Did I already flip that? Yeah. But yeah, I haven't played very much of Skyrim. That trap doesn't do nothing. Oh yeah, and you guys are gonna see what I mean about, like, the Dreadwings. They don't scream as high-pitched later in the game, because this one shows up. And he's not nearly as crazy sounding. It's only the ones in the ice level, and I don't know why. The enemy is my enemy is my friend. Does that mean what I think it does? Yeah, we've gotta help him. Oh, brother. Alright, you guys are going off the cliff. Get, get out of here! Jeez. Got him. All done. Watch it, watch I was just trying to help. Well, the Atlawa and Kane need no help. Oh, just about to spring into action, huh? Forget <laughs> this guy, Spyro. Come on. What did they want with you anyway? It's none of your business. Now move. I've got a tribe to save. It kind of irritates me that his ears are clipping through the top of the cage when, like, they modeled that cage for this game specifically for him to be in it, and it wasn't even high enough for him. <clears throat> Alright, see, so he wasn't that loud. Listen to him, he's like, Egh! And he's dead. Look at these goodies. There's some up here. No, I was wrong. I actually have a uh, fury I could use. Oh, you're giving a speech on Okami today? Good. You should wow everyone with it. Everyone should play it. I should play it too. I should stream it. Ah! I'm super proud of 100%ing it on the PS3, and um, I'm never doing that again because that was horrible. That stupid trial you have to do with the gates when you have to do like 50 of them, that was dumb. I think that's gonna hit me. But... I just realized I never flipped this one, that's why I can't get over. Silly me. Now I have to come all the way around. Oh, 
want to give a speech on this game. This game's underrated and I love it a lot. I love the character modeling, the, the super curly, um, what, what's it called? I guess design choice. Everything in the game has like, like the style to it where everything's curly. The fire's got curls in it. That's not really curly, but it's electricity, so what can you do? He's got curly horns. Um, everyone's got curly horns. Curly everything. It's pretty. Look at all the curly foliage. Sounds gay. Yeah. I'm gay for curls. <laughs> gay for girls. Gay for curly. <laughs> no, I'm not gay for those. <laughs> I'm gay for Kokuo. <laughs> Except Kokuo, I don't think has a gender, so I don't know if that counts. That's something I've always wondered about, like, um, if, if, say somebody was, like, a girl, and they were only attracted to, they were not attracted to boys or girls, but they were attracted to, like, um, non-binary or some other gender, would that would that be considered straight if it's a different gender from you? <laughs> I don't I, I don't understand sometimes, dude. Yeah, it's it's a really new thing. I mean, it's not really a new thing, but like it's more um, recognized now. It's on official terms for everything. Wait, here's the thing. There it is. I wish the camera would turn hello. There we go. Look at all these little monsters over here. Oh. There's goodies up here for me. But, um, for some reason there's like a ton of these little guys over here. Look at them. I don't know why they put so many over here. These little mole things. I love how everything looks soft in this level because everything has like a layer of grass on it. Including the log. about here. I have a question actually since we were talking about um, gay. Uh, if someone who's Aero Ace has a crush, does it actually count as a crush? Like what what entails having a crush? Like what, what does that exactly mean? I tried to look on Google but all that came up was like, oh so you have a crush and then it was like oh the uh, top 10 whatever ways to deal with a crush or whatever. It was stupid. I hate Google, I never get answers on there. Why? I can't tell you. Why? Because it's my crush. <laughs> and I'm going to crush them myself. Crush more? Sure. Ooh. Uh... I hate this guy because he just does this. Watch, watch, watch if I... Oh, oh, he actually let me hit him, okay. Yeah, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch that. 
He didn't do it the whole time! Normally I have such a hard time with them because like <laughs> I gotta hit him and then it he blocks like at the very instant I hit the X button because he's a cheating piece of garbage. And then Spyro flinches for like 80 years. And then it'll slap me. It's worse than the Eternal Knight, but he does it in this game too where as soon as you hit the X button he blocks. Oh my gosh, get off my butt. And like you're sitting there trying to hit him and trying to move along on your merry way and he just you can't because he just won't stop blocking here comes the dreadwing whoops wrong attack now he's gonna unless, it, unless the bomb is just gonna fly away which I would only expect that from the electric bomb A brief but intense infatuation for someone, especially someone unattainable or inappropriate. Uh, I, guess, I guess it. I don't know. Yeah, this guy doesn't care about blocking anymore. Oh, there he goes. Just go flying back. Alright, you're going off the cliff. I ain't dealing with you. <laughs> Get that guy. Get him. Get him. And this, oh, oh, oh. I hit him. Once someone has a crush in their ear, I said it's platonic. Yeah, I, I mean, it, yeah, it is platonic, but like, you can still play. I mean, if it's if it's platonic though, wouldn't that be the same kind of attraction you have towards like all your friends? Like, I don't know how to describe when it's like a, an attraction to where I always want to be around them all the time. <laughs> Which tier are my friends in? <laughs> are like a mess because labels exist for people to understand themselves and feel comfortable with themselves but then people will use them to make people feel terrible about themselves right, yeah. it's like oh this is your label well you're this this and this that's how I view you because of this label and it's like well no that labels for me so shut up and that's the whole reason I uh, deleted my personal blog if anyone's wondering I ain't dealing anymore Oh, asexuals are oppressive because they can be mistaken for straight people, and they don't belong in LGBT because of that. That's stupid. Anybody can be mistaken for straight. <laughs> I was gonna say so am I, but like that's the whole premise of the argument, so whatever. <laughs> <clears throat> Jeez. Tumblr is nasty. I hate Tumblr so much. Why are we talking about Tumblr? We started talking about gay and then it just. It naturally leads to Yeah. Tumblr. You can't talk about gay without Isn't that how it goes? I guess. If you've been on Tumblr, it ruins everything for you. Someone said the first Skylanders? Sure, why not? <laughs> this game is the first Skylanders. <laughs> I mean, Spyro's in it. 
Cinder's in it. I'm so I was so happy when I found out Cinder was gonna be a Skylander. Also, they um they put they put the main bad guy from this game in uh, Skylander's comics. And like I mean, I don't feel like his design is fitting at all. But at the very least, I'm glad that this game has not been like completely forgotten. You know. They acknowledge that hey, this character existed. Let's let's um. What's the word I'm looking for? Associate this game with it or whatever? I, I can't. I can't use words today. I woke up at 7 a.m. and I'm dying. Best not to bring up Tumblr when talking seriously about LGBTs. BT, yeah, I know. Get, get, get! Stop. Your pixelated to bitmap on your back is triggering me! I'm sorry, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Get out of my face. Hey, when you're done cleaning your strawberries or whatever, your bad smelling fruit over there, do you wanna write me a fanfic? About what? About, um. <laughs> About Spyro having a platonic crush. I can't. That's not my belief. That's not your belief? Spyro is so gay for <laughs> Spyro is freaking ace. Every character is ace unless proven otherwise. <laughs> Except you can't prove anything. So every character is ace. <laughs> Confirmed and stamped by me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this part. This part is programmed so funny. Oh, it's never easy. You guys, watch this, watch this, watch this. When I push the switch... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get this guy out of the way. Get out of here. This is your moment to shine. Okay, so when I press one of these switches, you see how there's clearly no enemies within sight around here. Watch this, watch. All of a sudden, there they are. All I have to do is turn the screen. <laughs> they just like spawn off screen. How do you program something to just spawn wherever the screen isn't? I had to sit down and say, let's, let's make these enemies that spawn when you're not looking. <laughs> <laughs> also, I love that this foliage, I mean, it's it moves when you touch it, but only a little bit. Like, it doesn't move with you. Ah! Got me. Got me good. Yeah, so did the pineapple. What'd you do to the pineapple? That's what you get for eating pineapple, that's gross. Wait, it got on your glasses? Yeah, I'll be over there in a second. So, so the shield is working. Glasses make an excellent shield for your eyes, I would know from it, uh, many, many experiences. What? I mean, it stopped it from getting in my eye. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Do you know how many, how many times things have not gotten in my eye thanks to glasses? Ew, I can see it from here! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know Jared Poland is on DeviantArt. I was talking about that on the first Legend of Sparrow stream. Um, Cause some of the concept art he drew when it showed like the the little storybook slides in the beginning of this game, and it was like, oh, we had this guardian and that guardian, and then they got kidnapped. Um, he posted all the high res ones up on there and stuff. I don't know if any of my descriptions are making sense, dude. I feel like I'm... I feel like my tongue is just hanging out of my mouth and it's making random noises. <clears throat> Welcome to 11 in the morning. Ah! 
Welcome to. I had six hours of sleep. Which I guess is more than sometimes that I get, but. I just formed that sentence, so. What does that tell you? Oh no! Oh, I can't be in here! This is a trap! Dra How many dragons have died in here? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is that? They're little tadpole things. They're hidden back here. There's no reason for them to be here. Their eyes popped up. They're popping off of their head, but they blink. It's like the way Spyro's eyes in, in Spyro 1, 2, and 3, the way he blinks. Where his eyes are like a separate entity from his face floating away a little bit. And they just kind of squish when he blinks. Ow, 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 ow. Dude. The PlayStation 1 era and the N64 era, like, the way they used to make models work is so cute. Mm -hmm. Ah! Sir, please. Please. I've had enough of your earth cannon. <clears throat> Look at that guy, he thinks he can hit me from up there. Think again, buddy. Oh! Sorry, that was loud. There's no reason for that. And then again, all of our neighbors were screaming all night last night, so who fucking cares? What were they doing last night? They were just like screaming, going, ah! For like, for like an hour. It's like somebody was chasing them around their house. Yeah. People are <gasps> He's gonna hit me. Oh he missed me. This cutscene was going. It's almost like I was wearing glasses. Dude, my eyes would have been in so much pain. Can you imagine if the spiral had to wear glasses? They'd have to be like really huge because his eyes are giant. <laughs> Look at him. Lucky he's perfect and flawless because he's the purple dragon and he's got 20 20 vision. That's, uh... He's probably got the uh, smelling senses of a beagle and the hearing of a. a um, what here's good? A bat. Of a, a dreadling. Oh. Oh. Stop! Stop! <laughs> They do! Ow. Please, I'm so tired of you. Just stop. Oh. Got the stuck in my head now. Uh, I forget which one that is. What it, I mean, I know which one it is, but I don't know what it sounds like off the top of my head. Shinsu Field. When you first said it, I immediately thought of Zelda. Yeah. Excuse me. I could skip this guy, but I want his blue gems. Stop. I was like, oh, I'm gonna play through this game really fast. And then I was like, but I want everyone's gems. <coughs> Somebody just in the chat said, old people can look attractive. Well, let me tell you. According to the conversation we literally just had, nobody is attractive to me. I don't know what a crush is. That's inappropriate. Oh, oh yeah, look at the camera angles in this um, scene. They're kind of... <clears throat> they were done well up until this point. And then like... Yeah, I know the guy's an ingrate, but you gotta do something. In fact... He does this. And you, you, it just kind of, I mean, I know why they had to skip to it, but I feel like if they had shown this right here, the cliff, before he did ice, then you would know why Kane was in danger going down that river beforehand, instead of just sitting there like, why are they freaking out? I'm not using ice breath. Oh my goodness, this is where that guy, like, 
Last time I played this, I threw that guy off the cliff, but it didn't do slow-mo until I hit the R button. So, I hit the R button and it did the final throw and it went slow motion as he went off the cliff. I'm never gonna get slow-mo like that again, probably. No, I, I No, cause see, the way it did it was that it only did the slow-mo after I hit R. So I don't think that's gonna work. <clears throat> yeah, ace people do have different levels of attraction, but from my own experience, I ain't got nothing. I'm just like, I don't know what you mean when someone is hot. I don't know what that means. <clears throat> like, I don't know how to explain this. I'm sure most ace people can sympathize, but like, you're going through, you get to like, middle school, and like, everyone hits puberty, so they've got hormones now, and everyone's like, oh my gosh, this guy's hot, this girl's hot. And, like, you don't feel anything, you don't see anyone, you don't, like, there's nobody you can look at and say, wow, this person's hot. Because you're just like, what the heck are you guys freaking out about? Well, I'm tan and I don't feel that way about anyone. About anyone? No, that's also a thing. I guess. And I mean, I know it's not the same for everyone, but I have seen stories similar to that floating around a lot regarding ace people. <clears throat> and I can sympathize with that because I'm just like, what the heck, man? What are you freaking out about? I remember when I was in high school and um, I, I freaking, I was like a junior and I still had not found anyone attractive. And I didn't even know what it was going to feel like when I found someone attractive. So I was like, you know what? Maybe I'm just like, Maybe it's just because I'm looking at dudes. Maybe I'm actually a lesbian. So I started like, I don't know, attempting to find women attractive. But like, I still couldn't. And I was like, well, I just don't know anymore. I mean, I have found someone women aesthetically attractive, but like, I don't want to do anything with anyone. There's no urge to cuddle anyone or have sex or do anything. <clears throat> I'm just like, yes, this person is designed well. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. It's like the way I look at characters. I'm just like, wow, I like the way this this one's drawn. Yeah, it's kind of just like, wow, well, you ended up with good genes. Good for you. <laughs> good for you. <laughs> Cannon. I can't believe this. At least I get these gems, I guess. That I wasn't gonna come back down for. I might as well just leave. What is that guy doing? Did you see him? Did you see what he did? I like that we're having a very serious conversation at 11 in the morning while playing Spyro. <coughs> you wanna know something else that makes me mad about Tumblr? Uh, well, yes. Um, but, uh... And I know somebody's gonna scream at me for this, but I really don't believe in the whole, oh, uh, yell at straight people for being straight, and oh, kill all white people and oh all this other stuff cuz like I mean yeah a lot of people are privileged but like that doesn't automatically make them horrible and you shouldn't just go around telling somebody like out of the woodworks oh well you can't feel this or you can't do this because you're this no matter like even if they're straight cuz that's really hypocritical Ow. Yeah, like, when, when somebody complains about, like, oh, they're having a bad day, or something like that, and they're like, oh, well, you don't have it as bad as me because I'm gay and I'm having this problem, and it's much worse than you because you're straight and you don't have this problem. And it's, it's stuff like that. And it does go 
both ways, but I don't think it's right either way from any party. It's like when I tell people that I'm really tired and they're like, how long have you been up? I'm like, 14 hours. They're like, oh, well, I've been up for 15 hours, so. <laughs> so I'm more tired. So I'm more tired, so, and I'm like, wow, that made me a lot less tired. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, now I suddenly feel wow. better. And now I'm awake. <laughs> it's like I just slept. It's nearly 2 a.m. there. Where are you at? That was family. Uh, I'm over here, eastern Australia? eastern U.S., and it's uh, it's um, 11:18 a.m. right now. This is the earliest I've ever streamed. I think, May well, I think me and Caleb maybe streamed earlier Mario Sunshine or something, but or maybe not, because every time I wanted to get Kayla up for Mario Sunshine, I'd be like, "How about noon?" And she'd be like, "No, that's too early." And I laugh about it, but I had the hardest time getting up before 2 a.m. nearly a year ago. It's only because I have a job that I have a life now and I can wake up before noon. <laughs> Judging someone because they didn't struggle. Yeah, that's... That's about right. But yeah, I don't I don't believe that that's the right way to go about fixing things. Because all that does is make people more hostile towards you. And then nobody's gonna freaking like you. And then nobody's gonna like support you, I guess. It's bullying, basically. Done with this level yet? I think I'm getting close. Uh, yeah, it's the maze, and then there's the freaking uh, arena fight on a boat where I can just throw everyone off the cliff the whole time, and then after that is the end of the level. <laughs> I always love the clipping on that animation, it's so bad, but for some reason I liked it when he's just like, he goes, and then he just immediately standing back straight he doesn't there's no transition between him shushing him and just standing oh, new monster hunter game. new monster hunter game what there's a nintendo direct on thursday hey, we need to get to the shrine monster hunter. nintendo direct oh it might be monster hunter stories coming to the us because it's only in japan right now i really want that i hope it comes out here but it doesn't look like it why? What do you mean it doesn't look like it? Like the official picture for Nintendo's Direct thing? Like it looks like a new Monster Hunter Direct. Sure. Uh, I don't know. That's kind of Monster Hunter's default logo, I guess. We'll find out. When is it? Oh, well, I'm gonna watch it later. Oh, is it? Oh, it's not up yet. Hmm. When is the Direct? Thursday. I don't know. I'm working Thursday! He said based on what it said, it's gonna be a new game and not stories. Really? Is that guy from? Yeah. The expert. We'll never know until it shows the look in your face. Guys, I love Monster Hunter. Like, I've never streamed it and I barely talk about it, but like, I seriously play it for like hours every single gosh darn day. I have like almost 300 hours in generations. <laughs> Hasn't been out for that long. <coughs> I'm disgusting garbage and I make calicos based off of all the, the Katsuki and stuff. And the hardest part is getting armor that's fitting for all of them. Gosh darn it, you're- don't- He's starting to do it too now. Stop. I'm gonna break that shield! I hate this guy. Nikad Sailor Hunter. I just, I just puffed a tiny little smoke out of him and he died. 
<clears throat> what the heck just happened? Whatever. I hate that when you like clip out of the level just a slight bit, Spiral's like, Ugh! then he goes flying. I'm, I mean, I guess I'm glad they programmed something to fix you, I guess. But it's still really silly. Dinner is good in what game? People thinking they're doing the right thing. They have their hearts in the right place, but they're just pulling it off wrong, yeah. I, I know, like, people don't do things purposely because they think it's bad. Like, nobody goes around saying, I'm gonna do this because it's bad. People do stuff because they think it's what's right or what they think needs to be done, and people are just, um, I don't know, I don't know the word, confused. They don't know what they're doing. Misled, I guess. Naruto Generations. Uh, I was talking about Monster Hunter Generations. Naruto Generations? Wait. Ultimate Ninja Storm. Generations is like the one that comes between 2 and 3, right? Ultimate Ninja Storm Generations. I think. I haven't played that one in ages. I've been. The one I play the most is Revolution. We have, um, four, but I wasn't feeling it. And I think it's because they they keep changing with every game. They keep making the, the way Ultimate Jutsus and, um, what's the other one called? The one where you're, like, charged up for a limited time. The, those two work differently every single game. And it's reached the point where it's confusing now because they keep changing it. And when I was playing 4, I just couldn't... I couldn't grasp it. Hello? Uh, I know they're here somewhere. I'm looking for the balls! There they are. We gotta get them into the goal. Sparrow's in the lead, there's no one there to stop him. He's hey. going for the goal. Streaming. Gore. Wow, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Thanks for letting me know. No problem. <laughs> Where did you see that? Tumblr. Oh, on Tumblr. Yes, um, if you have a Tumblr, I did make it an account just for announcing my streams. I haven't made a Twitter just because I don't freaking know how to use it. I don't feel like messing with it right now. But if you ever want to know when streams are going on, I always announce them on Tumblr. That's uh, it's just Moby and Angel on Tumblr. Oh jeez, oh jeez. I went the wrong way and now I can't get out because it keeps magnetizing to my face! Spyro's magnetic, dude. <laughs> Only the purple dragon can wield magnetism. He's got so many tricks up his sleeve. <clears throat> no, I did not mean Sonic Generations. I meant Monster Hunter Generations. <laughs> Why is there so many games with the word Generations at the end? Sonic Generations, Monster Hunter Generations, uh, that point Naruto right. Generations, where everyone just wants to go back and remake stuff instead of uh, making brand new things. Well, there's a new generation I did this. where it started before them, but it's still going on during their childhood. I guess. When's Spyro Generations coming out? When are they gonna have a Skylanders game that has every single iteration of Spyro in it? I thought that this was where the thing was, but it's not over here, and... I'm so sorry I keep running around. I've played this game five million times and I still... Oh, it's over here. I wasn't paying attention to which ones I had already gotten in. I mean, I, I play this... It's weird when I stream a game because like I don't fully pay attention to it and then I don't play nearly like I play this game all the way through a lot with absolutely no problem. But now I'm just like This guy 
You got no cliff to throw me off this time, buddy. Hello, hello, hello. I guess I fell off that cliff. That doesn't count. Ah! Do kids even like spiral in Skylanders? I don't know. Um, so is anybody fun around here? I thought it was kind of weird that they um they made this game that's targeting little kids, but they put Spyro in it because most people who know Spyro are a lot older. But evidently it works because it's selling really well. And I like Skylanders too. I like it a lot. I don't like um Swap Force, and I don't like um. Superchargers, but those were also developed developed by um no oh, what's their name? It was some other developer. Um, they don't do as good of a job. They don't polish the game as much as um Toys for Bob does. And Toys for Bob made the first game, uh, Giants Trap Team, and they made the one that just came out earlier this month. Was it um what's the new Skylanders game called? I can't remember. I haven't got it yet. Imaginators. Imaginators, yeah. Toys R Us made that one too, and I really want to get it. I didn't realize it came out. I thought it was coming out next month. All right, here's the boat. I'll just throw everyone off the cliff, no problem. Get out. Get out of my boat. <clears throat> ah! I hate it when they jump and you just can't grab them because they're mid animation. Stop! 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 So we'll start off with the little baby ones, and then the medium ones will start coming out. And then it'll end with like four really big ones. And if you do it fast enough, it cycles around and you get a whole nother uh, slew of enemies. So you get lots and lots of gems. If you can just, if you can just do an electricity trick. <laughs> Electric. <laughs> I deserve to get punched for that. He punched me right in the side. Ew, the... The shading on these clouds, it, I don't know if you guys saw that. It didn't do it, it won't do it anymore. Oh yeah, and the boat gets more and more damage too, the more you fight on it. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out! <laughs> I have to make a whole new thumbnail for this one, because I only made the one with the cereal last time, because you made that story about Sparrow with the spoons. Write me a fanfic. Ah! Stop it, stop it. You guys have to stop. You guys, you guys. Alright. Ah! Oh jeez. This isn't working out. Usually they're off the cliff by now. Stop. But they keep doing that and I have to jump. And then the other one's like, I'm gonna do that while they're jumping. And then I'm not throwing them off the cliff, I'm just jumping. Get I I should upgrade my electric brother or something, because it's just not grabbing. Stop! Why does electric breath grab them though? Is it like static electricity or something? Probably. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm actually gonna die. I'm not dealing. Get out of my life. Oh jeez. Give me gems. Give me gems. Give me gems. Give me gems. This the traditional way, or not, because I just died. Ew. I'm just having such a hard time grabbing them. They just won't. Dude, this condescending online man. Condescending online man. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have that up for like Why? Because <laughs> I need him. I need him. I need his help. Some costumes for Halloween have really stupid names. Do you remember Sexy Corn? I was talking about Sexy Corn the other day. Frickin' Ohio. Yeah. 
Except there's nothing sexy about Ohio. <laughs> what about the corn? No, the corn's not even sexy. Me high by 4th of July, baby. Oh. <laughs> Don't laugh at that! Uh, are they gonna- they're done. They- I didn't get through a second wave, it's fine. Well, that was fun. Too much dawdling around with the shaman. Shaman's filling my life with misery and woe. I think I went off on a tangent. What was I talking about before I started getting my butt handed to me by the boat? But yeah, I like Skylander Spyro. Um, admittedly, if you watched the Dawn of the Dragon playthrough of me and Queen Pen, you would know how much we made fun of Skylanders when it was announced. Because we thought Spyro was super ugly in there. But like, he actually looks really cute in game. They have like a a CG render for of him that they use whenever they do commercials and cutscenes and stuff, and it's really nasty. Kind of like the CGI in this game, and then the in-game model looks like way better. Kind of like this game. I mean, it bopped. There I went. But yeah, I think he looks way better in game. And then um, they changed his model too once they reached um, Swap Force, and he looks even cuter. The only problem is he looks like plastic now. And I, I get that they're supposed to be toys, but the other Skylanders don't look like plastic, so why do they make Spyro look like plastic? Thank you, condescending online man. Is that me? I'm, I'm condescending online man. Why are you making Spyro look like plastic? Get these stone men out of my life. Tom Kenny Spyro vs. Elijah Wood Spyro. Voice wise, I don't know, but I think Spyro himself, this one, would kick the other one's butt considering how ridiculously OP he becomes. I, want, I, I shouldn't have said OP, but you know, he's freaking throwing gigantic bombs that split up into other bombs and then all those bombs blow up. And then you get Earth Breath that just ripples the whole level, and you've got Fury for each thing, and then you also have Dark Spyro in the second game. And this one can fly, too. I mean, I guess Classic Spyro can fly sometimes. Or Cinder. She's beautiful. And I think we're done here. Not before we rescue Sin. Yet Lower Shrine has been desecrated. Voice-wise, I don't know. I really like this one, but I also really like the Tom Kenny one. And, um... Skylander Spyro, I, I guess, I don't dislike his voice. I really like the brattiness of him, but... I'm not too good when it comes to judging acting itself. I just think... I think they all sound fitting for their roles. Of course, I do always have that complaint in the back of my head that if they had not spent so much money on voice actors in this series, The Legend of Spyro, and had instead poured more money into the the gameplay and the art department, like, I mean, with as good as this game did turn out, it could have turned out way better. You know? Cyril. I know, I know, but Cinder left and I don't see any Ice Kings hanging around this place. This boss is a freaking big baby. He's like the Ice King is easy to kill. I just realized the Ice King is in this game. And, uh... I always think of the Ice King from Adventure Time now whenever I see him, even though this came out before then. And... Tom Kenny is the Ice King from Adventure Time, and he is Spyro in Classic Spyro. When will I learn? When things look good, run for the hills. All right, baby. Help me. Oh, I'm how? Something online, man. I need you. Me? I'm something online. Are you 
condescending online, man. I, I am being very condescending right now, and I am currently live online, so yes. I didn't know you weren't here. I can be. Huh? Ah! Angel or your angel. I can be your angle or your angel, yes. Depends on how you how bad your spelling is. <laughs> Look at this guy, all you have to do is hit him in the back of the knees. I keep hitting like the plus pad to try and turn the camera because I keep thinking this is like Monster Hunter or something. through all of Monster Hunter 4 with the regular 3DS, so I had to use the, the plus pad on the left side to move the camera while using the control stick to move the character, and it was so, like, I don't, I don't know. It was difficult because you had to take your hand off the moving the character to move the camera. And that just doesn't work out for me sometimes, especially when monsters are attacking you. But I recently got the a new 3DS. The, the Monster Hunter one, actually, the pre-order one for this new game. And, uh, now it has that little, uh, what's it called? Like, the camera? It's not a button, but it's not a control stick either. It's just, like, that it's little, the, the little pro. controlled pro. The little nub. And now I'm just using that interchangeably with the control pad to move the camera. And it's weird. You know, if you prefer this Sparks voice or Billy West, I absolutely hate Billy West Sparks. And I don't know if it was because of him or because of the writers, but, like, the jokes were so bad and the delivery was so bad. And he's just so unnecessary in the Eternal Night. I hate him so much. I hate him so much in the Eternal Night. I want to smash him. He's like, the number one thing I dislike about this whole series is the sparks in the Eternal Night. <laughs> and for those of you watching who haven't seen this game yet, I, you're in for something when I play the Eternal Night. Which hopefully will be next week. Hopefully. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to finish this one. Not this sitting, but probably tomorrow. I have to finish, um, I have to rescue the last guardian. <laughs> the last guardian. I have to rescue the earth guardian in this game. He's the fourth one. Well, yeah. And then after that, you go to Cinder's Fortress, which is the As last level. Here, I see that and then there's the final boss fight. The nothing to slow that electric tongue of yours from incessantly wagging. It's just that it's all so exciting, exhilarating, enchanting, and thrilling, and yeah. All right, no more thesaurus for you, pal. All of you, please be quiet. It is certainly encouraging that Spyro has been able to free two of you to allow the this. The Spyro iteration yeah, actually has lore to it, some. yeah. Yes, yes, of course. But um, Terrible. if you think about it, though, classic Spyro came out in '98, I think, How right? '98 or '96. I believe I it was. Help. For, it was 98, and um, games and game stories were super simple back then. I mean, they were getting a little more complex, but it was entirely about gameplay back then. <clears throat> Since games have like they've kind of evolved, you can do they can do more with them with the development and. I don't think the classic and Legend of Spyro are comparable even because they're they're so completely different like it all just depends on what you're into are you more into story or are you more into gameplay or um, even the art style and the, the tone because this one's a lot darker I don't think they're really comparable, it's just whatever you're more into, you're gonna like better. 
bits of ice. It's like comparing heavy metal music to um, jazz or something like that. It's like, oh, this one's better, but it just depends on what you what you are into. I don't know if that makes sense. Oh, now I get to learn how to use ice. Look how look how ice works. Okay, look. When I freeze enemies, when I freeze the little ones, all right, well the little one's dead. When I freeze him, he's stuck in place, right? And then I hit him, and he shatters. That is not how it works once you get out of the dojo. Like, they completely... They changed it? I don't know what they did, but it doesn't work this way in the real world. And I wish Cyril could have warned poor little Spyro that the real world, that life is not this easy. Help me! Help me! Help me! Help me! Alright, I'm just gonna... That was a close one. I almost died in the dojo before I even got to the real world. Oh, thank goodness. The next level we get um, Earth Breath. <clears throat> About a good ways into the next level, but we'll get there. Come on! Coach, let me back in there. I can do it. How is League of Legends treating you? Our one of our people just mentioned. Oh. <laughs> that early on? Yep. Oh well, frick. Time you, for another loss. Are you screwed? Probably, unless they come back. But who knows? Can you just come back? Oh, I thought you meant like the person comes back. Alright, we're gonna shoot icicles down. Ah, oh, they're running now! Hello? There he is. I felt it vibrate. There he is. Oh, that was a close one. Check that out. Cyril doesn't mess around, dude. If you don't do it fast enough, he's like, no. Try again. <laughs> he thinks he's so good. I'm not teaching you to slow him down. Not that this matters, because the little enemies don't, don't do any of this. Actually, I don't think I've really played with the ice. Icicles attack too much. I don't know if the little enemies do this in the real world. Yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> yes, yes, that's it. His voice is in like everything, but at the same time, I can't think of another instance where I've heard it. <laughs> Isn't he um, Kowalski in the Penguins of Madagascar TV show? No idea. Not, not Kowalski. Maybe. No, that's a different voice, actually. I don't know. I just don't know. I know I've heard his voice in everything. Same with uh, the next Guardian, who's Kevin Michael Richardson. He's a uh, dark laser in the Fairly Odd Parents and like Bantu from Lilo and Stitch and stuff. Super deep voice, McGee. Costing me precious time. See, if the enemies free froze like this in the actual like rest of the game, it would be so much easier. I'll show you what they do. It's really dumb. Oh! This is really cool. It's like sheer cold. So pretty.
So what exactly are you saying, Igniters? Yes, your hypothesis is an intriguing one, but it is perplexing to the extreme. Tess is a little pause on the ground. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Dude, I never know what he's saying. What I'm saying is that Cinder is harnessing the Guardian's power to unlock a portal that must never be opened. Why? So yeah, the Guardians were captured and Cinder was sucking out all their... Um, what does elemental energy into little crystals and then running off with them <clears throat> when we saw her flying over um, tall planes from his she had the ice crystal from Cyril I ever played Tide the Tasmanian Tiger oh my gosh I have that game and it frustrated me so badly because um, there was this one level, I think you could drive like some kind of vehicle, I don't remember. I remember the level was like gigantic and I'm one of those players who tries to get 100% and things so I was trying to collect all the goods. I don't remember what they were. But like there was like one missing in somewhere in that gigantic level and I literally spent like two hours looking for it, got a headache, got really mad and then never played it again. Oh, yeah, that is by Chrome Studios, isn't it? Another problem I had with that game was that the... It's it's one of those typical games where, like, you know it's bad because when you run, the character's run animation is slower than the speed that they're actually moving at. It's really ugly. I didn't get too far in the game. I got to, um... I got through the snow level, I think, on the farthest run I ever did. They are called... Man whispers. Right. Man whispers. Rumor has it that Cinder is holding. They got the man with small and the boy is it big. We know she's using him to power the last of the crystal she needs to open the portal. Free him before she gets the chance. Boy is it big. Boy, it's big. But no time for sight. The volcano's name is Boy is it big. And let's go. The population of creatures living here are called the man with smalls. Little shrews or moles, I guess. But yeah, tie the Tasmanian tiger. It's um. All right, here, here. Here's what Ice Breath does in the real world. Look at this. Look, you see how he's in a little ball now. You can't hit him or anything. He's just a ball. You have to sit there and wait on him to pop back out to keep damaging him. See now he's out running free because uh, I put him in there. And just, just, the only time this works is when you can just do that. But that's like, there's not always a convenient pool of lava there for you to roll enemies into, so. I don't know. This is irritating because you can't, like, kick their butts until they pop back out. And you might as well just not even use that, honestly. Oh, this is, um. A little more practical in the Eternal Night, but it's still not the greatest. I think ice is probably the weakest element that Spyro has. Spyro thinks he's so cool. One time I had a glitch in this level where the collision box on like all the platforms and stuff just stopped. Like I would just like go to jump on a platform like this and just fall right through it. And the whole like I got it was at the end of the level, like after the train leaves. And you're supposed to like open the door to follow after the train. But there was no collision on anything so I couldn't like go up and flip the switches or anything. And uh I couldn't even hit the enemies. The enemies had like a collision box on them but they didn't they wouldn't take damage and I would just kind of push them and they would just kind of push me trying to hit me. It happened at the very end of the level so the only option I had was to restart the game and it started me from right here. It didn't save the whole time and I was really mad. That was a fun time. I recorded that too. I don't remember if I posted it ever. I don't know if that really counts as a fun man with small boys of big. It's more like I don't know. <laughs> that works too, you just falls right off. 
Oh, it spawned me up. Oh, okay! Oh, it didn't really spawn me, it was just facing a different direction. And the former god of tall plains, Spark. You don't carry the stench of Cinder's beast, so you must be friend. We are. And who are you? I'm Moliao, leader of the Manwar Smoke. But I'm not much of a leader anymore. Those who are mining for Cinder are holding up in the head, scared out of their little wits, waiting for Buzzy Big to blur. Boys of Pig. Which shouldn't be long. Boy, is it about to go on? Perhaps there's something I could do for you? I don't know. We're here to rescue a big family. That's a common glitch. I didn't know. I've only had it happen once out of the tons of times I've played. Because I know what he's been kept in the mind. Yeah, I was actually blowing the enemies up with the fire blast because for some reason that would work. And I managed to hit two of the switches with that glitch going on, but. I couldn't, like, I couldn't get it to progress, I couldn't get it to let me go. And I don't know why it, it, it like, didn't acknowledge the rest of the level, like, it didn't save my progress the whole time, but it's pretty annoying. It's a common glitch, I hope it doesn't happen this time. This Lord knows I don't want to replay this live. If it did happen, I would probably just off screen replay the level. Alright, gotta free the little babies here. Also for anyone who wants to join another stream after I'm done with Cinder here, or with uh, this Guardian. Uh, we're gonna play Fatal Frame 2, continue that around 1 Eastern time. EST. Okay. I don't know how tired I'm gonna be by then, but I'll just play while tired. Ghost won't have anything on me, I just won't be affected. Ah! Stop summoning bad guys! Dead. I shouldn't use much fury in here, actually. I never remember to use it. I remember back when I first played this game for the first time, I was all about fury. I was like, well, when's it going to be charged up and use it? But now I'm just never remember. I know how to use it in this level, though, since I still have it. He's already free. And he's already free. I'm just start throwing bombs everywhere and maybe I think it's free before I even get to it. I'm start with the one place up. This is a mess. I didn't see anything. Oh, I did it. You don't have to free all of them, you just have to free like, a certain number and then the game is just like, oh you did it. See, there's clearly guys trapped there behind me still. How will we know? Yeah, all you manner we smalls look the same to me. Manner we smalls. You will know him. Trust me. He is the most cantankerous. See, the humor of Sparks in this game is kind of funny because he just like debunks their stupid gaming and naming uh, conventions and like he basically points out things that the player would be thinking and then makes a joke out of it, which is funny. But in the other games, he's just annoying. Oh, well, he, they're not here anymore. And I didn't come here. I don't want to come here. Let's just go. Alrighty. 
you guys are going to the lava. Bye. Alright, watch how dramatic this is. well for no reason. <laughs> this is when lava worms begin starting popping up. There they are. You can't kill them with lava. You can kill them with ice though. Yeah, they die really fast to ice. It's like it's like a one use. If if I could Alright, I'm not okay. Forget it, I'm just using fire. I'm gonna fight fire with fire. Oh, it's gonna reload the whole thing? Hello? Alright. I don't know why I had to reload. There's some gems that I missed. Alright, you guys. They die really fast to ice if you can hit them with it. It's probably because I didn't upgrade ice at all. It has a farther reach when I upgrade it. Guys, normally I replay this game on an already completed file, so I have all my elements fully upgraded. Hey, I hate this guy. The scorpions and the eternal knight are awful. You have to like kill them in a very, very specific way, or you're done for. All right. to get Earth Breath. Here we go. Finally. I bet you can't ring that bell. Why would I want to? Oh, you're scared. I'm not scared. Oh, the big special dragon is scared of the mean old bell. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Why don't I get your belly right out? Byro, can you hear me? You okay, buddy? Hey, listen, forget about those cracks I made about your fatness and your being purple and stupid and fat. All right? Just get out of there, please, Byro. 
Don't be dead. Did you say something? <laughs> no, no. no, I was One space, did you say talking something? out loud thinking of my day I gotta do. I just thought I heard something before I blasted my way out. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, no. Must be hearing things. I have unlocked Earth. And now, I will upgrade it. Level 1. Level 2. Or shot of the Quaking Valleys. Yang Drith's shattering earth shot. Drith's. Yang Drith's. Look at these. I haven't even upgraded my regular old spider breath yet. Fully upgraded. I'm gonna upgrade this. Let's get that up. Let's. This is another level. Toss them around like toys, yeah. That's exactly what I intend to do with my electric breath. And I'll save the rest. I got the goods! Teetering around with low health. Earth Breath is definitely a lot better in uh, the Eternal Night, but it's still super good in this one. The breath powers do completely different things in the Eternal Night. Like in uh, the Earth Breath, you get like a wrecking ball that comes out of your face and you swing it around. And if you glitch it just right, not really a glitch, but if you if you jump or if you use the wrecking ball as you're landing, it moves a lot faster in midair. So I like to do little short hops and just uh, use the wrecking ball so it just spins around rapidly, constantly every time I do a little baby jump. It's great. There's nothing comes in. I'll show it off when I get to it. Alright, this is... I think this is the part where it glitched up before. Look at that railing. Come on, you worthless waste of flesh. Let's go. We gotta hop on steam and get back to that fleet. This guy is also Kevin Michael Richardson's voice. almost ready. And the volcano's right on the brink. <laughs> Both here and terrible. <laughs> Come on, breath looks like a full auto me. shotgun. Yeah, it's kind of what it is because it just like spews out in a burst. Yeah, to get through here, you have to flip all these switches. And two of them are up on high up platforms, <laughs> which are very difficult to reach when there is no collision. <laughs> oh, yeah, if I remember correctly, one of the switches themselves didn't have collision when I did it, which is why I couldn't make it progress. See, I couldn't climb up on these, so I couldn't get up here to the switch. That was a that was a great glitch. 
I recorded the whole thing, of course, like the goon that I am. I'll have to check and see if I actually uploaded it. There's so many things I recorded and never uploaded. Oh, we're gonna go on a train ride! You don't know how to drive this train. thing. Uh, how hard can it be? It's on rails. Oi, famous last words. <laughs> how hard can it be? It's on rails. Firebombs at him. I don't know how I caught up with him so fast, but I did. I gotta lean away from the guy shooting. Dynamite him. Except they're both here now, so. Alright, Um, yeah, if you're prone to seizures, don't watch this part. isn't even attached. Spirals breaking animation. <laughs> no more fire, but it's gotta go. Look at this breaking animation. We won. Look how we won scared he is. We won a 4v5. Look at him! That's cute. <laughs> and I'm proud of you. <laughs> Now we're outside. Also, I'm done with the super flashy train part for anyone who had to look away. Okay, goodbye, chaotic coochie. You're going off the cliff. Goodbye. I think these ones actually... Oh Dude, yeah, they do. It was all condescending online, man. He did it. Did he? Yeah. Can you feed me? You your goddamn cell phone. I'm hungry. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. Like they suddenly forget how to fly once they've seen me. You should be watching this part. You didn't get to see this part of the game. <gasps> oh, that was karma. And neither will you. That was. That's because I threw so many people off the cliff. 
I just looked at the edge and it sucked me in. It's fine because I just restart right here. What the heck are you looking at? What is that? Allow me to play it out loud. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Ew! <laughs> you want to drop that in the chat for everyone? Yeah. <laughs> it's a vine. Watch my stream while also watching my stream. <laughs> Solo res. That's because I'm using the dabble. Oh. I'm considering playing uh, the Eternal Night on the Wii U just so I can use the Elgato. I don't know how well that's going to work though, considering the Wii U is stupid and if you use a controller that's not the Wii pad for player one, the whole console freezes because it's a worthless pile of garbage. <gasps> Oh my goodness! Did you see that save Spyro just did? No. It was good. Oh, and then there's this convenient elevator here just for me because they know that stupid players are just gonna fall right off the cliff. So we continue where I left off, shall we? I can't believe we just won that game. <laughs> I'm real happy for you. Don't laugh at me! Did you see him? Get out! I'm not gonna get those gems. I'm not dealing with him. I mean, we just completely smashed gold and black players, like... Aren't you in gold? Yeah. But, like, the discrepancy between the skills and our team is just... Oh like, no! The dynamite! Oh, no! I had to avoid that dynamite, man. Dude, See, here's what I like to do with these guys. Also, the train stopped coming when she reached this point for some dumb reason. There's Exhumor. Wait, 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 we're on your side. More likely spies for the conductor, or that flying beast, Cinder. Oh, it, Moliere sent us. <laughs> Mom's brother is alive. He sure is, pal. He's all safe and sound. But I gotta say, he's the friendly one in the family. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. In these dark times, one can't take chances. So, Moliere is alive. Oh, wonderful news. Oh, 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 wonderful news. <laughs> You just missed the whole ho ho If he's a big dragon, I certainly can. The majority of the Manuel Smalls are kept here in this camp, forced to live above ground and mine for cinder. And there are rumors that your dragon friend is being kept somewhere inside. Oh yeah, the moles don't like to be above ground, but they're forcing them to mine. Not if we have anything to say about it. Ho ho ho! Yeah, what do you mean? Did you enjoy good work? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, after that stressful game. Into the darkest pits of <laughs> I need some alcohol. <laughs> and it's <on> the <laughs> Jeez! Freaking sparks. I forgot about that. Freedom! I will light the fuse of freedom. Alright, I'm in the lava with you. Beautiful. Bye bye. Go in the lava too! Stop! 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 Come 
goes in right on top of you. Oh my goodness, I slammed him into the thing and it just, it just, it just, it's there now, it didn't even animate it, it was just, it was on the ground and then it was in the lava. I slammed right into this. Did it. Is another one. Done. There's, where is another one? Got it. Oh. <laughs> oh. I see you two crazy kids found each other. Yes, at last. Thanks to you. We're just disappointed you didn't leave any fun for us. Maybe next time. So now, which way to Terador? That way, but be careful. The conductor and his maniacal locomotive will surely His maniacal locomotive, the train. Be careful, does that mean try not to die? I'm trying to do that anyway. I'm gonna change my Skype name to a maniacal locomotive. Yes, it won't be long now. I like bopping the R and L buttons super fast, like... Uh-uh! Too bad I can't do the... Earth one either. I will be able to after this level. There's a hallway that looks exactly like this in the second game, too. Alright, off the cliff. Goodbye. Oh! Circle starts panicking. Got an infestation in here. Uh, you know, I want to play another one, but I'm not sure. My heart can handle it. I'm gonna take a break after this level, <gasps> eat something, and then we can play Fatal Frame. Of course, there's a little ways to go in this level still. Look at the shininess in here. Mm -hmm. We're not even at the actual mines yet. Oh. Hold on. Oh. Looks like I'm just gonna do this. Buffalo Beetle. I feel like the earth, or the, sorry, the electric cage works best for these guys. Ow, because otherwise they're just going to be slapping you like that. Ow! You have to be right up in their face for it to work because the 
Electric cage is stupid. I'm just gonna blow up these other guys. Ew, his guts went over there. Yeah. What was that effect? No, 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 they're both low beetle. Is that... Is that gonna go off? <laughs> Set it off myself, then. I don't even want to bother with these guys. You have to. Huh? Bye. <laughs> Alright, well, there's the nest of the infestation. The queen. I don't know where the queen is. She's probably in there. And I'm not bothering. I'm just gonna grab my gems and leave. Ow! Oh, all right, I guess I have to. I don't remember having to. Usually I'm not trying to rush either. Three more man works smalls. Just spiral all the way up there. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Begin our ascent. Freedom! Ow. He's wow. free. Good. Freedom. I'm glad you can be the big man strong. Freedom! <laughs> I'm glad that you're spreading the word of communism. I thought you were going to say Joshi. Uh. I sure am spreading the word of Joshi. Oh! Hit by that train, buddy. Freedom! Condescending online man. He's my new idol. <laughs> my new god. He brought us to victory. That doesn't sound very Joshina, dude. Hey. Where is he? <sighs> Narrowly escaped that train. That one too. Give me that fear. Bone bull, bone. I thought it said bone butt for a second. It does say bone butt. It says bone bull. No, it doesn't. All right. <laughs> Cosy, no. Theron, no. Blur effect on his you arms. He screamed. <laughs> oh, well, good going. Freaking throwing temper tantrum up there. Oh, good. Now I'm out of uh, stuff. So let me just beat up a little baby. Ow. That's fire. Take that. Let's go. Oh, 
Oh, here we go. Stair door. A big dragon being held prisoner in the center of an explosive volcano. I'm guessing that's Terador. <laughs> it's never this easy. After the last two times, you're not gonna get an argument from me, Chief. <laughs> oh, here we go again. This boss is actually pretty easy. I think it's not an upset that though. You're a little late, fella. The crystal's already charged and the volcano's ready to blow. The glory does. Me and Steve here are gonna take great pleasure in running you down. Me and Steve here are gonna take great pleasure in emptying your wallet during the Christmas sale. Oh. <laughs> I love the music too. So all I gotta do is stand here so that he tries to run you over. He's he's gotta he's gotta speed up, he's gotta build up steam if you want. Then like once you've gotten the hell far down he'll start throwing stuff at you. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he'll try to run you over and then he'll slam into the wall. Oh <laughs> Try to run me over, let's go. Get it. <laughs> I realize and it's like, no, 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 you're not gonna do that much damage. I can slow down time when he hits the wall and hit him more. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna break more of these because I want the uh, goods for the level ends. Alright, I'm down there, so <laughs> Sun came out. All right, here, let's do this. Wait, I can't. All right, let's do this. Oh, missed. Going. I like that he stopped moving for that. What a jerk! Get out of my face. I'm still on fire because of the fire period. So. Mm -hmm. Before <laughs> I would smooch Terador. Gross. What are you CGI! Scaling? What are you, Scaly? No. I am, look at that ass. <laughs> He's a baby! Leaves. He's got a name, you know. Yes, my name is Spyro. And you must be Terador. Yes, yes I am. And I must say, I never thought I'd live to meet you, Spyro. Look, I'd love to sit here and hug everybody and chit chat, but how about we leave before the volcano blows us up? Right. Why does this look different from earlier? It's CGI. No, but like the CGI Actually, before looks different. Uh, the CGI in the Eternal Light looks different because uh, the the mm -hmm. the different they have a they they do different lighting and textures. <laughs> it's Cinder. She's mad what? now. Look, when the guy <laughs> says run, I think he knows something. Look how big she is next to him. Terador, mm -hmm. you fucking idiot. Terador <laughs> <No! laughs> is terrible. Fly like you've never flown before. I'll go back to the temple for help. No. Where are her boobs? Spiral sheer terror. Alright. Oh, we gotta escape Cinder. After it loads. Could be any time now. Could be tomorrow. Use RSP up and like hit R the entire ride home. 
Well, you're, um, it's your, uh, mana bar, so oh. when you hold R, it uses the mana. Watch out. Look at her! I love her in-game model. <laughs> this is freaking, uh, I almost called him something else. The Dreadwings were cussing at me. Cinder just blew him up. I like how he left, Terador left you here with her to go get help with Nemo. Instead of having you go get help with Nemo. She's after you. You're the one who's like putting the stop in all her plans. She wants you dead. Terador can't beat her on his own, so he's gonna go get. Big old, big ignite is to help. Maybe she's just got a crush. Except actually, Terador should probably be actually the physically strongest of all of them. But actually, he's probably weak after having all of his uh, elemental power drained out of him. Game theory. Get out! Uh, get get back off, lady. Would you like some cookies, you man? Can't bribe me with cookies. I'm the purple dragon. I can filter feed. Watch this! Watch this! The background stops moving. Watch it. Look at that. Ew. <laughs> CGI, I hate the CGI and cutscenes, dude. Hey, it's big boy Iggy. Dude, he's like, Ignitus is probably watching that volcano erupt. He's like, oh, that's hot. We've got to find them. Help Ignitus. They're gone, Spyro. There's nothing we can do. I don't care. Who? Ignitus wouldn't leave me. Who? Spyro, he's right. I'm right? Oh my god, that's a first. Yes. You'd never find them in this mess. And you're not ready to face Cinder yet. The time to fight will come, but it is not now. I guess you're right. Let's go. It's a lot of smoke in there to hide the fact that we didn't draw a background. <laughs> <laughs> the sky was blank. Gosh. I make fun of this game so much, but I actually love this game so much. It's awful. I'm terrible. It's my fault. I, I failed Ignitus when he needed me most. It's just that the sight of Cinder so close just just made your heart stop. But I'm gonna do the earth training before I quit so I don't have to start with it next time, like yeah. pain in the butt. Something like that. All warriors feel fear at one Spiral, time that, another that spiral. feeling that you felt no with puberty. Yes, it's what? a proven scientific fact that the quotient between the like, like, trepidation that the feeling you felt with puberty. I our good no, he's got a crush. <laughs> Spyro's got a crush. What I was going to say is that all warriors feel fear, Spyro, but only the most valiant among us can face that fear and master it. From what I saw of you on Munitions Forge, you are one such warrior. Terror's like this war veteran. Young dragon, I guess they all are war the veterans, though, but he acts like it the most. Mm -hmm. Now is the time to face your fear. Come. I like that his tail drags the ground too, because it's like a, still uh, a little mace, I guess. Oh, the flail. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> Pyro, come here. Oh, it has a name. Is it just a flail? Uh, I think it's a flail or a mace. I think ew, mace. Ew! 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 Pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> you pointed it out, and I'll never ever see it. Let's begin. Words. 
I just realized there's like eggs at the bottom of that statue. Yeah. You got Malfour standing around with all these eggs. Yeah, they're probably all of his kids. <sighs> My goodness. Mm. Press B to earth shot him, alright. Done. Always be gracious in victory, Spyro. Come over here. Chase after the dummies and earth shot him. Right now. Here we go. Hargan's Earth Bomb of Spinning Terror. The Vortex of Doom. Now it's gonna tell me I got the fully upgraded or you now have the fury of Kytheron's wrath of nature. Cool. Let's upgrade this one. Fire blast of the scorched earth. Drag Sooth's fire blast of the eternal inferno. This ultimate burning force explodes out of Spyro's mouth like a fiery volcano. <laughs> I couldn't upgrade it. It's fine. Oh baby, taste those whipping winds. Oh man. I was waiting on one. Badly torn his wings are. <laughs> oh man, you guys all just got rused. <laughs> Round two. <laughs> These enemies just don't know what to do. Oh. Wait, I'm trying to go right in their face. So. When are we gonna watch uh, Big Show again? Big Show. By Shonen Duck movie? Yeah, by Shonen Duck. Uh, I don't know, you wanna watch it tonight? Yeah, we'll watch it. Oh, yeah, you gotta uh, well, we'll watch it tomorrow. Wait, I'm streaming this. Uh, we'll figure it out. Here's the ultimate Earth one. Since I have the whole thing. Throw them up in the air and then throw the boulders down. Good job. Now, final confrontation of 
I did it. Tamagotchi? Is it Tamagotchi? Yeah. Tom Tomodachi is a game. Oh. Like a video like a Wii yeah. U game or a 3DS game. Excuse me. Tamagotchi is the little handheld thing. Ignitus is the final piece to send us possible. If that last crystal is powered. Tomodachi life is a 3DS game. And we'll all be done. I know, I know. I was on Munitions Forge. I overheard the conductor say that Cinder's final preparations would take place at her lair, where she lives in solitude among the clouds and the towers. I am certain that's where she's taken Ignitus. We have to go. Come on. I'd give anything to go with you, young warrior. But that <laughs> crystal flops sucked his tail the last of my will. I fear my fighting days are. Oh over. yeah, the crystal Every sucked out all his will. Pass the torch to the next Terridor. Our time is done. Yes, it is Spyro's time to shine. Well, go to it, young dragon. Yes, sir. Wow, you guys make even me want to face Cinder. <laughs> Did I say that out loud? Loading the lair of darkness. It looks great. Wow, it's almost one. We might have to stream Fatal Frame at like 1.30. Yeah. Because I need to eat. I'm starving. Cinder's lair is where hope goes to die, Spyro. <laughs> A dark, foreboding place in which Cinder broods and skulks and plans her next assault. You must make your way to her fortress. I'm sure Ignitus is being held. Next time I say that I want to face Cinder, why don't you go ahead and punch me in the mouth? No problem. Cinder's lair. So next time I play, which will hopefully be tomorrow, uh, I finish the game. Uh, so you guys at it's uh let's see there's swamp there's the um I'm drawing a blank the ice level the tall plains and then there's munitions forge which we just came from and then there's cinder's lair which is five yeah five levels five very long levels so yeah um i'll be back at 1:30 for fatal frame 2 which is in like 45 minutes and tomorrow for more spyro hopefully okay i'll be back